Hi guys, today in this video we'll try to find out is it possible to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on an old PC from 1998 with Pentium 2 inside. Let's go! This is HP Vectro VL8, a very expensive PC from 1998. His price was around 1500 bucks at the time. And here is his specs. CPU Pentium 2 400 MHz in slot 1. 256 megabytes of RAM. It's an upgraded version of that PC. I have added some memory so he can handle a newer operation system. 256 megabytes is the max supported size of RAM. The stock version has only 64 megabytes. GPU. This old machine has only 8 megabytes of video memory. It's called Matrox G200. The hard disk is upgraded too. He has 40 gigabytes of capacity. And the CD-ROM drive. First of all, I think maybe we can burn the ISO image of Windows 11 to a DVD and then boot from it. But this CD drive unable to read any DVD. He can read only a CD. Second thought was to boot from a USB drive, but we have a problem. This PC has very old bias. It's impossible for him to boot from any USB drive. We can use only the CD drive to boot. So how we can install Windows 11 on this PC? Yes. The upgrade. We can upgrade Windows 98 to Windows 2000, then to Windows XP, then to Windows Vista, then to Windows 7, 8, 10, and finally to 11. Let's try. The hard disk is empty, so I have to install Windows 98 on it. I was lucky. I found Windows 98 CD. Let's try to boot. Oh, Windows 98 installation. Do you remember it? We need to choose Start Windows 19 Setup from CD-ROM. Continue. Next, next, next. Done. Let's check my computer properties and to what we have here Pentium 2 and 256 megabytes of RAM. I feel a lot of nostalgia. I remember playing Blood on Windows 98 when I was a kid. Did you know there is a super secret in the first level? You need to jump here. Also, I was playing Commander King. It has a super secret too. You need to climb here. And of course I was playing Half-Life. Complex so we can get down to safety. 
I'm sorry, but those doors will not open until we send the all clear. So send it already. Such a good memories. Okay, let's try to upgrade Windows 98 to Windows 2000 using a USB stick. It's working, nice. Welcome to Windows 2000 setup. Choosing upgrade. Next, next, next. And uh, what? What the hell is this? NTLDR is missing? Oh, I forgot how difficult it was to install old Windows on an old PC. So why is this happening? The reason why this message appears is that I choose upgrade instead of clean install. It's somehow connected with changing HDD file system during upgrade. In the last build of Windows 2000, this problem was solved and the setup begins. Next, next, next. The installation was successful. Go to my computer properties, all the same, but the name of CPU was changed. Now we'll try to upgrade Windows 2000 to Windows XP. To avoid file system problems during installation, like it was in Windows 2000 setup, I choose the new installation. Hope nothing happens. And yes, it's all good. Next, next, next. Two and a half hours have passed. Do you remember Windows XP music? Fun fact, Windows XP image doesn't have sound drivers for every sound card. That's why so many users during installation have not heard this music at all. I forgot how beautiful Windows XP is. It looks great. Go to my computer properties, Pentium 2 CPU, and now it recognizes correctly. Go to Device Manager, all GPU drivers for Matrix G200 were already installed. LAN drivers too, nice. Go next, Windows Vista. And the error appears. Windows detected that this computer has 256 megabytes of RAM, but 512 required for installation. Installation cannot proceed. The maximum size of RAM we can install on this motherboard is 256. So that's all? This is the end? Of course not. We can bypass the minimal requirements. For this, we need to open a CMD as administrator, then change directory to Windows Vista image, and start setup.x with argument no sys check, which means disable minimal system requirements check. More detailed guide you can check on my second channel, link will be in the description. And yes, we made it, the setup begins. Next, next, next. Three and a half hours have passed. And we succeed. Windows Vista. Welcome. Oh, by the way, look what I'm using. It's a ball mouse from 1999. Go to my computer properties. And the system didn't recognize CPU again. Windows Vista has a rating system. Let's check the rating of Pentium 2 and 256 megabytes of RAM. 1.0. The lowest score. But Pentium 2 is not that bad. He has 1.2 subscore. Okay, let's go next. Windows 7. We have the same error. Besides, we can't bypass it. These commands will not work on Windows 7 setup. Is this the end? Of course not. To bypass the minimal system requirements, we need to download a hex editor called HXD. Then we need to find winsetup.dll and open it with hex editor. We need to find the code and replace it with this code. Save the changes and try to run setup again. More detailed guide you can check on my second channel. A link will be in the description. We are lucky. It works. Windows 7 setup begins. Next, next, next. Five hours have passed. Done. Success. Go to my computer properties and here is Pentium 2 and 256 megabytes of RAM. 
Look what happens if I open the task manager. CPU usage is 100%, but the only program we have open is the task manager. As you can see, Windows has installed drivers for internet. Let's try to use it. Go to google.com. Yes, it's working. What about Facebook? No, Internet Explorer cannot display the web page and no matter what browser you will install here. To load Facebook or YouTube, you need a CPU that has SSE2 instructions. Is it possible to run any game here? Let's try to load Half-Life Uplink. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective. No problem, nice. Okay, let's go next and try to install Windows 8. And the same error appears. I could not find any information about bypassing minimal requirements in Windows 8 setup. And we don't need it. That's why. To install Windows 8, 10 and 11, your CPU must support SSE2 instruction and an XBit. SSE2 and an XBit support starts from Pentium 4. As much as we'd like to install Windows 8, 10 and 11 on this PC, it's impossible. But there is a version of Windows 8 that not required SSE2 and an XBit support. It's called Windows 8 Developer Preview. Is it possible to run it on our PC? Let's try. I tried to start Windows 8 Developer Preview setup from Windows 7 Desktop and this message appears. It says you need 1 GB of RAM and your CPU frequency must be more than 1 GHz. There is no solution to bypass these minimal requirements. I've tried to start installation on another PC again, which passes the minimal requirements, then I try to swap the hard disk to continue installation on Pentium 2 PC. And that's what happens. Black screen error 60A. Did you ever see a Windows black screen? Welcome. Unfortunately, it's impossible to install Windows 8, 10 and 11 on Pentium 2. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will make another video where I try to install Windows 11 on Pentium 4. Type in the comment section what is your favorite operation system. If you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.